Pedric. Uh, Adebayor for Arsenal. It's a strong run by the centre forward. It's a poor pass from West Brown. It's Fabregas for Arsenal. That was a let off for Manchester United and for Brown in particular. A loose ball which he acknowledges. There. It was almost a perfect pass to Fabregas, wasn't it? First real attempt at goal ever. Oh, it's falling nicely for Cleb. And he's gone round PK and he's found Adebayo! What a good chance. The second he's had. He got the winner here in the league game last season and he must be thinking he should have scored today. Emmanuel Adebayo, the top scorer. Adebayo. Van Persie. Forward running here, onside, Fabregas. Adebayo is trying to get into the centre, Klebs further over. Oh, and snatched by Van der Sar from the feet of Adebayo. Arsenal have created enough openings here to worry Manchester United. They really have. Play by Abui, he tricked Evra there, he went away from Scholes, Evra then came in behind him. Howard Webb had a long look at that and gave a free kick. And Percy to take the free kick for Arsenal. Toure forward. So is Gilberto. They fooled them by playing it short to Kleb. And it's Fabregas. And Van Persie takes over again. And, oh, and it's gone in for Arsenal. Adebayor caused confusion at the near post. And somehow that ball has crept past Van der Sar. Arsenal have taken the lead. After two minutes of the second half, Van Persie took over again. Van der Sar came and, well, they gave him virtually a free header. Adebayor, who missed three chances in the first half. Was there a handball there? That's the only question mark. Rio Ferdinand seemed to think there might have been. What a start to the second half. This is Clem. And now Adebayor's away again, and Gilberto Silva makes ground in the centre. Comes in behind Ferdinand, and who nearly put it in his own goal. He forced a save out of Van der Sar, Rio Ferdinand. Otherwise, it was 2-0. Well, that was a real heart-in-the-mouth moment for the Manchester United captain, Piers Rooney. delivered another twist to this championship season this is coming inside Carrick it's a good run by Kleb he's still under the ball he's got Clichy coming up outside him deflection oh it's come off Wes Brown and Van der Sar was going down to his right and it's another escape for Manchester United Wes Brown will be relieved. This comes off him from Clichy. And Van der Sar gets down well at the post. Turns it oh, it's on the, off the post as well. What a let off. Hard look. look where... Uh, oh, Rooney off the goalkeeper's legs. And it's come back again. Everett's playing virtually centre forward in this attack. I was about to say, look where he was. And then he had two more attempts. Shows you that uh, defence now is not an option. Lehman is pacing around there, trying to get a good view. It's Hargreaves! It's in! It's in! Just United are in front for the first time, and it's Owen Hargreaves on 42 minutes. His second goal for the club, and Arsenal are outdone. Hargreaves just drips the ball over the wall, and Lehman doesn't move a muscle.
as it goes in just inside the post. Manchester United 2, Arsenal 1. Ferguson's substitutions seem to change the match in United's favour. It's Justin Hoyt. It's Fabregas. Curved in ball for Bentner. Oof. Well, they really couldn't have complained Manchester United had Arsenal equalised. Congratulations, it's been a draining week for, for you and your team. Yes, what is uh, very difficult to take. We produced the performances uh, today again. We played with quality, spirit, score first, and in the end uh, we go home uh, empty-handed. Where was it lost today, do you think? The penalty. For sure. When I score in my head, I told myself, if we keep this one nil to after five minutes, we, we win the game. You know what I mean? But uh, tackle with, and three minutes after, or two minutes after, they got, they got another penalty. So, yeah, I think when I just scored the penalty, I just told myself, yeah, it's going to be tough again. And they, for sure, it's Manchester we're playing against. They will put us under pressure, and that's what they have done. That's what they have done quite well. And at the end of the day, they win the game. Now points clear of us now, and... I don't think no hope anymore to win the title for sure. We must recognize the one team uh, to become champions as well. The question is, how come we didn't win anything with this team, with this quality that we have, with this play, with this football we played during this year? Those are the questions that I ask myself. Uh, Good answer. At the moment, I don't know. At the moment, no. There's so much good work this season. Yes, uh, but I, I cannot blame the players and no the team because in both games uh, we turned up, uh, we played at our level and uh, every single thing turned against us since March. We got a clear message as well on uh, many, many decisions that went against us. We understand it, we are not stupid. What do you mean by that? Nothing. Indeed. We'll let other people read into that comment, shall we? You do what you want.